Welcome to Customly. In this video, we'll cover the basics of our app and how to navigate it so you can start creating personalized products in no time. Let's begin. This is the start menu of Customly. You'll land here every time you open the app. It's also the first option on the left menu marked with a rocket ship. From here, you can quickly create a new product in your store. Just choose a product base from our various print-on-demand suppliers or your own products and apply a design to it, either for custom list design gallery or one of your creations. There are a few new concepts here, so let's break them down. Product bases are the products you can add a design to. Think of them as your blank t-shirts, mugs, blankets, and so on. We call them product bases because they come preloaded with all the necessary product info like printing file dimensions, print areas, and mockups. So you already have a base to work with. All you need to do is add a design to it. Designs are essentially all the artwork your personalizable products will have. You can create your own designs, choose ready-made ones from custom list gallery, and even tweak custom list designs to make them your own. On the menu, you'll find your own design collections and product base collections. This is super handy if you won't be using print-on-demand providers and want to add specifications for your own products. We'll dive deeper into product bases and designs in our next videos, so let's move on to the next item on our menu, templates. Templates are the backbone of Customly. They contain all the information for the specific product to be personalized with a specific design. Think print specifications, the design with all its artwork and personalization options, and the mock-up of your product all in one place. Templates are automatically created when you choose a base product and a design from the start menu by combining the two of them. You can also create templates from scratch by manually inputting all the information for your personalized product, like the print specs, mock-up images, and artwork. Next, we have libraries. Here, you can upload and store collections of colors, fonts, vectors, and images to use in your designs. The store section is where you manage your product's listings. Here you can see which template and options your products use and how these options appear for your customers in your store. You can also access your store settings from here, which include tools and styles to enhance the shopping experience. In the order section, you'll find details about the sales made through Customly, including order details and printing files. We have specific videos about all these sections of Customly, so be sure to check those out. Last but not least, there's a help button in the right corner. Here you can find help center articles and contact our support team for assistance. You can send us a message or chat live during US Eastern and Vietnamese business hours, Monday to Friday. Now that we've covered the different sections of the app, you may be wondering, where should I start? The first thing you need to consider is what you want to sell and how. For example, a store can have its own printers and handle printing and fulfillment themselves, or use a print and demand provider for fulfillment and shipping. Then when it comes to designs, stores can have their own designs perfectly targeted to their niche market or brand identity. Or maybe they are just starting and want to sell some cool designs easily, like customless design collection. Depending on your needs, there are different ways you can use Customly. One way is by choosing a product base and a design, as I mentioned earlier. When you do this, a product listing is automatically created in your store with its corresponding template and personalization options. This is an efficient and hassle-free way to configure your products, especially if you sell multiple versions of the same product with different designs, like t-shirts for different occasions, or the same design across multiple products. Now, if instead of publishing a new product, you want to use one that you already have in your store, you can use this button right here to choose to work with a listing from your store. This is useful if you already created a listing on your store and it looks nice with all its description, gallery and all, and you don't want to go through the hassle of having to publish a new product from scratch. 
simply pick a product from your store and then go through the process of picking a product base and a design to use with it. Another more advanced option is to create a template manually and then choose the product you want to use with it. This is useful if you already have products published in your store and want to enhance them with personalization. If you want to use this option, just click here and it will show you all the published products from your store so you can add a template to it. We usually recommend creating templates the easy way using the start menu. However, if your product or personalization is quite complex, creating a template manually might be the way to go. Regardless of the path you take to get started, templates will always be there for you to edit, link, unlink, or even delete at any time. Now that we've covered the basics, dive into our other tutorials to learn more about each option. You'll find specific tutorials for product bases, designs, templates, library settings, and more. And remember, if you need assistance, you can always rely on our amazing support team using the help button in the right corner. Happy customizing!